What do you guys got to say? What's going on? What do you guys got to say tonight? What's, what, what, what's, what is it that you guys got to say tonight, man? Try to figure out what to what what to bring to you guys for this uh commentary right quick. And I think I found one. Brian Little. <laughs> What's up, everybody? How y'all doing tonight? Lockout Men back again with another commentary for you this evening. Shout out to all my guests that came through on the Lockout Men podcast show. I really do appreciate all of them chopping it up with me. If you guys is interested in coming on and sharing your experiences, your stories, your whatever, if you're promoting something, yo, Come on and chop it up with me on the Lockout Man podcast show. We are all welcome to do the damn thing. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to everybody that came on. Shout out to all you guys that support the channel. Yo, let's jump up into this commentary. So, of course, always come at you with you guys with something, you know, something of interest. Somebody post something, a video uh a, a comment or whatever the case in this particular situation i have found this for you guys and let me know what you guys could do for this young lady in the comments below now she says that she has been licensed for three weeks now and won't be able to get into the industry for about two to three months because she's in the tail end of an adoption of her newborn grand niece, whose mother is unfortunately on drugs. And she don't want her niece to go into the foster care system. That's understandable. That, that really is. What do you think my chances of being hired after that because my skills will probably be rusty. And she is super, super discouraged. Well, first thing first, shout out to you for putting family first. Shout out to you for stepping up to the plate and making sure that this young this this young niece of yours uh has a solid place to stay with people that she already know and not having her to go into the foster care system and mess with people that she don't know that she could potentially get messed up and be with people that don't care about her and that does that, that that is the case with some foster care people they don't care about these kids there's there's there there has been cases where the kids are nothing but a paycheck to the foster parents they get about what $800 plus whatever whatever bonus per kid 8 16 20 something her kid you know they just look at the they just look at the kid as a money bag they don't care for them they don't provide they don't provide for them and they don't nurture them so shout out to you young lady for taking for taking the initiative of making sure that your that that your family yours this is your family making sure that their kid will be brought up in a loving and comforting home shout out to you all right so you you got your license it's been three weeks right you it's been three weeks of course you know after a couple of months you say two three months of course you're going to get rusty from you know from coming off fresh from your training and everything but you don't have to worry about that all right you don't have to worry about that because the company that you will be going with will train you anyway. 
So there's nothing to be discouraged about. They're going to train you anyway. So if you get into companies like U.S. Express, Snyder, Pam, uh, uh, Swift, Warner, any of those companies, major carriers, any of the major carriers that's going to bring you in, they're going to train you anyway. So it's nothing to be discouraged about. You could be a little bit rusty. That's understandable. But when you go into the company, you're going to get you're going to go back out with a trainer. Now, here's some suggestions that the companies you should you could look forward to going with that can train you to be a good truck driver. I'm going to throw it out there. It's going to be prime. Prime. Now, the only problem that I have with Prime is that they, well, I take that back. They switched it up. It's not 50,000 no more. It's 30,000, but it's still a long time being out on the road. But you'll be out on the road. You'll get trained. You'll learn how to drive the truck and all that good stuff. Now, before I go on, what did you get your license for? Did you did you get your license? Did you get your license and is it restricted or non-restricted? Now here's the thing. If it's restricted, then it's not a problem because majority of these mega carriers are an automated fleet anyway. But if it's not restricted and if it's not restricted, then yeah, you might have an issue in finding a company that has manuals, all right? It's only a few companies that have manuals and the companies that do have manuals, they want you to have at least a year. So that might be a that might be an issue in itself. Unless you can find someone that has a manual truck that's willing to take you under their wing and you know you could drive it it depends it depends you know if you have a manual truck or a, uh if you have restrictions or non-restrictions but in any case if it's if it's either or you will be trained by a company another good company to be trained at is snyder boot camp snyder that's what I'm saying. Boot Camp Snyder will be a good company to train at as well. Swift. I got to throw it out there. Got to throw it out there. Swift is another company that you're going to, that you can train with, you know. So don't be discouraged. Don't be discouraged. I think your chances of getting high are getting high. <laughs> Smoke weed every day. Oh, my God. Oh my God! Oh. oh, okay. Smoke weed every day. <laughs> Your chances of getting hired <laughs> will be good. All right, all right. So just keep it up. Uh, just keep it together. Keep it one hundred. You don't be discouraged. You'll be okay. You'll be okay. You know, like I said, family is first. So just concentrate on the family and you'll be okay. The driving will come naturally. You will be all right. Sometimes people don't even get, when people get their license, sometimes they don't even use it for like a year or something like that. But again, your family is first get that in order and any good company will understand why you took a break as soon as getting your license so again before we get on up out of here don't stress about uh don't don't stress about you know trying to get your trying to get in and worried about everything else concentrate on your family shout out to you and shout out to all the all the people that that put their family first you know what i'm saying any good company like i said before will get you in the door and will train you out the gate that's about it 
I'm done with my commentary for this evening. Yo, you guys like like content like this and more. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share. Hit that bell and that all button and get back at me. You know what I'm saying? Hit me up in the DM if you want to come on. Or if you got anything that you want to talk about, hit me up. I will appreciate it. I thank you guys for watching. And I will come back at you with another video. Peace. Brian Little. <laughs>